Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here in Mapseed. So in this video I will uh, say a few words about the latest uh, design integrated into, into Django. It's uh, the star admin design from uh, Bootstrap Dash. Um, let's take a look at the, at the application interface. Um, the, proto, uh, the proto has been updated by, by Bootstrap Dash to Bootstrap 5. So, um, the UI looks uh, super super nice in my opinion. We have uh, many pages like charts, like um, uh, widgets, and um, also tables. Okay, icons are provided by MDI um, set. In case anyone likes the likes the design, uh, we can easily integrate in any Django application this. Uh, this uh, this um, this UI kit, and um, just to um, take a look at the at the library <coughs> uh, playground project is also provided, and I will uh, just to speed up the demonstration, I will pull the the sources for for this uh, playground project that basically implements all the steps listed here on the library page. <coughs> Django star admin it's a it's a dependency uh, saved here okay we are using the latest version uh, the configuration is uh, already already edited uh, also the new um, uh, the new routing it's already integrated into the playground project and another another fact is that um, the the team provides the covers the um, admin section reserved for super users also uh, implements all the pages uh, uh, required by django contrib admin uh, authentication the, the default authentication flow plus the registration page and on top of this uh, the users can uh, easily uh, extend the pages uh, so basically all the all the pages provided by the kit are accessible uh, for uh, common users once once they are authenticated Let's uh, check out the project and uh, uh, try a local build. Okay. I will maximize the, the font in the, in the terminal. Once you have the playground project, you can open up the requirements and check out the, the version of the star admin uh, uh, Django team. Uh, this application uh, implements the, um, uh, um, uses a, an index page to, um, to load the index from, uh, from the package. And also the um, application core uh, has all the configuration. We can see here that the admin star configuration is loaded. And um, also, if we open up the routing file, we can see here the the routing uh, uh, exposed by by the library. Okay, let's uh, um, create a virtual environment, install the dependencies. As mentioned before, the library can be used in uh, new Django projects uh, built from scratch or simply for uh, legacy Django projects to, to style the uh, <coughs> admin sections and also the, uh, the login uh, flow. Okay, now the requirements are installed. I will uh, migrate the database. Should be okay i will also create a super user in order to access the admin section okay so all works as expected I will start the 
application and uh, check out the design in the browser. So the UI looks super nice. We have here the login and registration. We have the documentation link and also the support uh, uh, that links uh, the product to, to AppSeed in case anyone have, uh, have issues. Don't hesitate to, to chat with us. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Let's uh, sign in. Right now, I, I, I have only the um, super user account, so I prefer to create a new account uh, for the ordinary users. Um, and also uh, access the uh, uh, admin section after we sign in with this uh, with this account uh, sign in the and also use the administrator account to check out the, the ui uh, style with uh, this kit if the sign up is successful we are automatically redirected to the um, uh, to the sign in page and here i will enter the same credentials so now we're in we can see that the we have here more pages that are reserved for uh, uh, authenticated users let's browse the pages all well, the buttons are you like it looks amazing in my opinion basic elements charts are powered by chart.js which is a super popular um, visualization library which is also open source uh, okay let's uh, sign out and uh, authenticate as a super user once we we're in we can see here the the menu looks different uh, so uh, we can see the, um, uh, the classic interface of uh, provided by django so we can edit users uh, for instance this one we can delete the user and uh, add permissions and also um, uh, we can add here groups and other things um, that are generic uh, provided by by Django by default so guys uh, thanks for watching um, the kit is it's free it's open source um, we can see here that is um, published on uh, uh, PyPy index it's actively supported let us know what you think in case uh, anyone have issues uh, using the using the kit access apps it and go here to the support page um, and let us know uh, if the, the library has some some, some issues um, we might add other other features as well to this uh, to this library but uh, uh, being the first iteration uh, we are um, um, in the first phase, we are collecting the feedback and uh, uh, implement what's what's requested by by our users. So uh, that's the um, this is the presentation. Let us know what you think about the product, and in all cases, um, tell us what you think about the product. Have a super super day, and uh, see you all on uh, on a new video. Bye, guys.